What up? It's Mrs. Wallace again. This is to help you know how to fill out the audition form. It's going to be online. If you are in one of my theater classes, it's very similar to what my disclosure document was. So as I go throughout this, I really need you to pay attention. There are very important things in this that you and your parents need to be aware of as you fill this out. If you do not have access to a computer, we will have paper copies of the audition form in the main office. However, we want you to fill this out online. It will help us out greatly. Pay attention in the video. If you have any questions, let me know. All right, let's take a minute to talk about how we cast the play. We are so excited for this. Here at Elkridge, we do not pre-cast. Pre-cast means we decide who is playing what role. We don't do that at all. We go into the auditions knowing what parts we need to fill, but not who is going to be playing them. We have five people who sit on our panel for choosing the actors in the musical. We have myself, Mrs. Christy Wallace. I am the theater teacher at Elkridge and also the director of the musical. We have Mr. Keith Goodrich, who's the choir teacher at Elkridge. He is the music director and teaches all the singings. He's also the assistant director this year. Then we have Mrs. Haley Nelson, not Israelson, I almost said it, she got married, but her name is Mrs. Haley Nelson now. And she is our choreographer and dance teacher here at Elkridge. We also have Mrs. Reese who teaches CTE. She actually helps with the musical and organization. She makes our posters and our programs. And if you've seen them, they're beautiful. She's very talented. The final person that we have helping out is Mrs. Kayla Martin. She teaches theater at Fort Harriman Middle School. She does not know these kids. And that's what's so great. She gives us an objective view of the kids' potential and also their acting ability. All five of us choose who is a lead in the musical, and who is an ensemble. Last year we had 140 kids audition for the musical. We can only fit 90 on our stage, so we usually cut it down to about 90. So all of the boys, you cannot all play Joseph. There's going to be one Joseph. There's only going to be one Pharaoh. There's only going to be one Judah. Judah's the brother that sings Benjamin's Calypso. There's only going to be three girls that get to play the narrators, but we have the other girl parts that they can audition for as well. I hope that every single one of you marks ensemble, and it'd be great. The ensemble's gonna have so much fun this year. It is going to be exciting to see what they can do with their characters, with the concept, with moving things on and off the stage. It's going to be a wonderful experience for everyone involved. If you do not make the musical, Sign up for Tech Crew, and I'm going to explain that in just a little bit as you move forward in this video. If you have any questions about how we cast the play, please feel free to email me. Again, as you saw in the other video, my email is right here for you to contact me. Thank you very much.
take a minute to check out the musical calendar. Go to my website, scroll all the way down. There you will see the musical calendar. If you want to, in the bottom right hand corner, you can add the calendar to your own personal Google Calendar and any changes I make will be made on your calendar too. Now we're looking at the audition form again. These are mandatory days. These are not all of our rehearsal days. We would like every rehearsal to be as mandatory as can be, but we understand we're going to have some conflicts. However, these days are days that we will not bend on, so pay attention as we're moving forward here. Really take time to look at the rehearsal calendar that we have on there. These are very important dates we need you to know about. Look at them carefully. They are mandatory, meaning the entire cast needs to be present, and we're not going to allow any absence there. Any absence may result in a removal from the cast, so we need you to plan accordingly. Really pay attention to the last couple of weeks. The end of January is usually new beginnings. Um, a lot of people do volleyball and things like that. We need your student to be available to be here for all of those rehearsals. We also have a possible performance on Wednesday, February 3rd. Last year for Beauty and the Beast, we sold out entirely. So we want to make sure that we have Wednesday open in case that happens again. Please make sure that all of these are on your personal and your family calendars and let me know. We hope to cut some of these rehearsals in the rehearsal time. We are going to over plan again this year, so hopefully we can cut back for you all. The musical is a voluntary activity, it's extracurricular. So we want to make sure that you are aware of the time commitment beforehand. We don't want to cause problems with you or are you causing problems with us as we are getting closer to performances. It takes hours and hours to prepare for a musical. If your students have done this before, you know what we're talking about. If you have any further questions, make sure you let me know. And one last thing, you will have to turn in grades this year, but it's going to be different. You are not going to go to all your teachers and have them sign your paper for you. You are going to give us a printout of your quarter one grades. The first quarter will end on October 29th. That's the Thursday before auditions. So we want you printing out your grades on your own by Monday and Tuesday before you come and audition. Those grades are turned into Mrs. Reese's box in the main office. And you can't go to the counseling center to get your grades printed, but you can go to Mrs. Reese's room to print your grades and hand them to her before school. We will not accept your grades any later than Wednesday at five o'clock. If by then you have not turned in your grades as well as this audition form, submitted online, then you will not be able to be in the musical. These are the rules that we need to follow because we need to make sure that you have grades good enough to do the musical. If you have any other questions, again, I'm going to say it, let me know. You're great, wonderful, and awesome. Break a leg, everybody, and I am excited to be working with you.